in this video, I'm going to talk to you about tempo. Tempo is really important because tempo is the speed of the song, and when you are creating beats, tempos will change. Um, the tempo is right here on the bottom, and in most doors, it is going to say BPM, but here in Soundtrap, it says tempo, but it's also known as BPM. And there's a couple ways to change it. So if you wanted to change the BPM, this is how you do it. When you open up Soundtrap, it's always going to start at 120. That is the default tempo for this program. If you wanted to go up, you can just press the plus sign or you can press the minus sign to bring it down. You can also... You can also type it in. So if I wanted 130, 130. And they just put out this new feature with the tap to tempo. So if you want to press T, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You'll be able to tap out your tempo by just pressing T. Or you can click 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and then it'll change. And when it comes to tempo in this this program, especially with loops, some of most of the loops already have their own tempos. So when you see them change on the bottom, um, don't be don't be scared of that. So if I just bring in if I just bring in a simple drum track. If I want to change this to 80, I can. And it's going to stretch it out and it's going to play. That's pretty slow, so I'm going to bring it back up to 130. That is the tempo function in Soundtrap. See you in the next video.